Hello vinyl community. So today I'm starting my video from the inside of a car, which means I'm on the road to the city of Nuremberg, where today there is a, a huge uh, vinyl fair, which is uh, basically the biggest, uh, the biggest vinyl related event here in the region. Um, and so um, I'm curious, I never was there before. I have just moved to this area a couple of years ago and um, so uh, we will see how this turns out. So um, I will try to make some uh, shots, some, some uh, footage from inside um, as far as it's possible. So I uh, keep you posted. So I'm here in Nuremberg, closing in on the Meistersingerhalle, which is the place where it all happens. And yeah, the one thing I hope is that uh, the venue is not too flooded by professional vinyl merchants that pick everything clean before you even get a chance. So, uh, we will see. So here we are at the entry. Let's go in and see some records. Of course I was not going to film minutes and minutes of footage inside the hall because it's basically annoying to the other people and I don't like to do that. It's a temple of sorts, isn't it? So um, uh, let's have a look at some of the records I bought. Um, this is just a small stack. I came home with much more but um, I just... Uh, didn't want to burden you with uh, too long of a video and some of them were just uh, sort of test balloons so I have to listen to them and kind of figure out what I have actually bought there. So with the first record comes also a shout out to Fred aka Big Star 1000 because we had communicated a little bit over this album which is uh, Histoire de Melodie Nelson uh, by Serge Gainsbourg. This is the only album I bought new at this fair. I saw it there for a little less than 30 euro and uh, this is the, the reissue by Light in the Attic um, and it's a very beautifully done uh, reissue so it's, it's very heavy I mean it's, it feels like three records and uh, it is a beautiful so very thick gatefold sleeve uh, with a nice picture of Serge Gainsbourg. This came out in 1971, my birth year. Uh, it's uh, it's very beautifully recorded. Now this is a quite a rocky album, but at the same time recorded with an orchestra. Now between 69 and 72 or 73 a lot of bands and a lot of musicians uh, made the effort to work with an orchestra and created albums that were very orchestra oriented and in a lot of cases it doesn't work that well. But this is one of the examples where it's really magnificent. Uh, the, the orchestra works very in a very interesting way here and um, it's a good example how you can combine orchestral work with uh, with a really, really dynamic rock music. So enough said, this is a great wonderful album, Stuff of Legends and uh, beautiful heavy duty reproduction and uh, yeah thanks to Fred to giving me the final push needed to purchase it. Now the next one is Sun Mountain by Steely Dan. I'm not such a Steely Dan expert 
I know their first album, which is quite intriguing and full of uh, very uh, whimsical ideas. Um, this is a, a obscure compilation of sorts. I just bought it because it didn't cost much. Um, so I uh, haven't listened to it yet, so maybe later more. Now this was a beautiful catch for me, uh, Second Breath by Denise LaSalle, which is a really wonderful album. I enjoyed it right away when I put it on my turntable. Now this is a great mixture of, uh, of soul, funk and disco music, you know, right at the cusp of the disco era of the mid and late 70s. What's interesting about this album most certainly is the fact that almost all the music and all the lyrics are written by Denise LaSalle herself. So uh, this makes the album sort of her own vision of, uh, of the soul and disco music of those days. And it's a wonderful album through out. So uh, that's really a great one. Yeah, this is uh, this is UB44 by UB40. I think this was their third album. Now uh, this is this first edition that came out with a with a hologram picture, which probably doesn't work very well here. It's just like a mirror, so it makes no sense to show it to you. Uh, so I show you the inner sleeve instead. Yeah, you probably know UB40. Uh, interestingly, UB40 was one of the very first bands I ever saw live. I think at age of 12 or 13, I think 13. Um, so the very first concert I ever saw was, uh, was uh, some sort of a summer festival. And the f it, it contained three bands. The first one was Kajagugu, really <laughs> UB40 and The Police. So. My first, very first concert was The Police, which is kind of nice. Uh, Island Life by Grace Jones. This is uh, sort of a Grace Jones' uh, compilation of their albums on Island. Um, I basically bought it just because I wanted to have the cover. Uh, that's something you... I can maybe put it on, on the wall. There are these new IKEA frames. I don't know if you see them. They make these 12-inch frames, so you just open the IKEA frame, you put an album in it, you close it again and you can put it on the wall, which is kind of nice. Um, it's a gatefold sleeve with a lot of fascinating pictures of a very fascinating lady. So that's it. Yeah, Z-Bob by Santana. It's Santana's entry to the 80s. It's certainly not my favorite Santana album, but um, um, there are some interesting tracks on it I like. Probably mostly E Papare is quite cool and Primera Invasion, Primera Invasion, Tales of Kilimanjaro I like and Hannibal, the last track. So um, good catch for my Santana collection. This one I haven't heard yet. It's Some People Can Do What They Like by Robert Palmer. So uh, I'll probably listen to it today or tomorrow. When I can. Now oh, this is stuff I love. Um, this is called African Drums. And this came out in uh, 1971. But if you look at the, uh, at the disc itself. So you can see that Boulevard actually had released this in 1969. Under the title The Freedom Drums of Africa. Um, so this... What I bought here is the 1971 re-release. And yeah, um, that's something I listen a lot these days, which is a, sort of a serious uh, ethnographically oriented music. And that's what you get on this album. Um, so that's really something nice for my archive. I mean, I hardly ever can pass an album like that you know when I'm going through a crate now uh, 
War Dance by Colosseum 2. So this is sort of late 70s, I think. Uh, I would estimate like late 1977, yeah. So this is of course uh, John Mole and Don Airy and uh, Gary Moore and John Heisman. So this is that permutation of Colosseum. Came out on MCA with a nice rainbow. Next one, I feel for you, Chaka Khan. Now this is probably now the most 80s sounding album I have. Um, yeah, I knew most of the tracks here, but um, it's nice to have it as an entire album. Uh, but it's certainly not. Um, in hindsight, it's certainly not the best stuff that Chaka Khan has done. Um, but it's full of interesting uh, musical ideas. It's heavily overproduced, one could argue, when there are probably half a million people working on this album. I mean, it's an album perfectly lodged in the time it was recorded. So there are a lot of interesting ideas and electronic efforts on this album. Uh, Kind of trying to push the envelope of uh, of the pop music of those years. Yeah, this one is well known, uh, but I had it only on CD, so uh, it was high time. In the Land of Grand Ping by Caravan. I think this album has been shown a lot on vinyl community videos. Uh, this is, of course, the the Derham edition. Um, and yeah, it's a well-known album. Probably now, in hindsight, the most uh, prominent one from the Caravan catalog. And here, a Sporting Life Weather Report. Now, of course, when I saw this album, I immediately knew that I have an, that I already have a visual companion to this album which is musically something completely different but it's uh, in the City of Angels by John Anderson which uh, came out on the same label and in the same period of time and so of course both albums were designed by Jerry McDonald and that's why they have this companion-like style even though they are musically, yeah, a couple of light years apart. So, that's it for now. Um, there will be more in the next days. Uh, the stack was a bit bigger. So keep it spinning and thanks for the visit and see you next time. Goodbye.